This winter, my family and I traveled to Uzbekistan, a country I had no prior knowledge of, nor had any expectations for going in. Once upon a young year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. But the beauty of traveling to a country not so known was that I got to learn about its culture through actually experiencing the places and talking to the people. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his arms, I heard him say. Although their English was often limited, they were also welcoming of us tourists, eager to share their beautiful culture with the rest of the world. Originally, we planned this holiday to go skiing, but once we got to the chalet, unfortunately, the soaps were not yet open. Yeah. But that didn't stop us from enjoying a few cozy days in the snow. <laughs> Let's bring one home. They need a tire. I'm not sure they are here. Yeah. Yay! Hello guys, I'm taking over this vlog. So today, we're gonna visit my friend Meowsles. Say hi to my friend Meowsles. Hari ini kau berdamai dengan dirimu sendiri. Kau maafkan semua salahmu ampuni dirimu. Maafkan semua yang lalu. Ampuni hati kecilmu. Luka luka hilang lalu kau. Biar tentram yang berkuasa. Kau terlalu berharga untuk luka. Katakan pada dirimu Semua baik-baik saja
Yeah. It's uh, beef meat. Beef meat. Beef potatoes, yes. Or this beef with potato. Yeah. <laughs> From the capital, Tashkent, we took a four-hour train to a city called Pukhara, a prominent city of the ancient Silk Road. Was it destroyed? I don't know. You see, we only opened this much. This is still going. Willie, what did we learn about these places? There's one of four trading domes in this city. It's a really pretty town, but thank God we're only staying at night. Yeah. Because we've walked through everything. Bukhara, Hiva. Hiva? Yes, Vinetza. Vinetza, Italia. Because I feel like we're in like old, like, um, old, like, Jesus movies. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? And after culturally immersing 24 hours in Bukhara, we took an hour and a half train ride back east to Samarkand, most famously known to be the home of the great ruler, Amir Timur. And the first place we go to is uh, the place where that person was buried okay. 600 and more years ago. He died on the way to China. It was his dream to invade China. Okay. But he did not come to China. He had a very cold winter. And that winter killed him Timur. He caught cold and died from pneumonia. symbol of communism. In 1991, Soviet Union collapsed. Yeah. And with collapse of Soviet Union, communism collapsed. Yeah. We don't have even one Lenin in Uzbekistan. Be careful with your head. Defenders. My name is uh, Babur. I'm music instrument master. I'm producing musical instruments and tuning them and playing also. Genghis Khan mm -hmm. uh, decided to make a dish which would keep his horsemen not hungry the whole day for him to eat in the morning and not to be hungry the whole day mm -hmm. and he gave order to his chefs to make such dish and they went away and after some time they came back with the same recipe rice meat carrots <laughs> and they named it plop mm. 
it really is slowly digested. Yeah. And usually uh, it's a heavy dish and uh, in the evening restaurants of Samarkand you can never find it. Yeah. It's usually a lunchtime dish. facing material. That's how preservation is so big. What is brother going to buy today? An iPhone. One six kilos. So guys, this is my sister. What is she buying today? She is going to buy raisins.